In this video, we're going to be looking at the first topic in the GCSE Geography course, uh, Paper 1, Section 8, the challenge of natural hazards, specifically at natural hazards. We're going to be looking at what they are, uh, the types of natural hazards, and the factors affecting hazard risk. There's the spe specification um, as reference for you. So what is a natural hazard? Let's have a think. Well, it's a natural event that has the potential to cause damage, injury, or death. Now, I've underlined this bit because it's very important. We've mentioned natural event. That's simply something that happens as a result of natural processes. Um, but to make it a natural hazard, it has to be a threat to people. It has to have the potential to cause damage, injury, or death to people. So I've got uh, five examples of natural events uh, here to illustrate the definition. And you can have a go at sorting which ones are events, which ones are natural hazards. So uh, the answers here. Hurricane Ian, Storm Eunice, and the drought in East China, I would classify those three as natural hazards, mainly because of their locations, I mean, Florida, East China, and then obviously Storm Eunice in Britain. Um, they're all relatively densely populated areas um, where they have the potential to cause damage, injury, or death. Snowstorm in Antarctica doesn't really have the potential to cause damage, injury, or death, unless you're told it's by a research station, and then it does. All the other ones were deduced by location, really. Uh, but the earthquake of magnitude 2.3, that information tells us that the earthquake was too small to be felt, 2.3 on the Richter scale. Um, you'd probably be told that that was too small to be felt. Um, and that means that it doesn't have the potential to cause damage, injury, or death. So types of hazard. There's four types of natural hazard that you really need to know about. Tectonic hazards we're going to look at in more detail later on in the course. They are a, res a result of natural processes underground involving the Earth's tectonic plates. So any seismic activity uh, that has the potential to harm people, basically. Um, earthquakes and volcanoes we look at in more detail. Atmospheric hazards, again, we look at in more detail later in the course. They are a result of processes in the atmosphere, so hurricanes and droughts. Geomorphological hazards, you probably won't have seen this word before, they are natural processes that occur on the Earth's surface. So, for example, landslides and floods. It could be argued that floods are atmospheric hazards um, because they are caused by the natural process of rain uh, from the atmosphere. But we look at floods later on and we see that there's factors on Earth's surface that influence uh, floods. Um, Biological hazards, they are natural processes that involve living organisms. So, for example, wildfires, uh, the trees it would be the living organisms. Um, why are some hazards hard to classify? We can look at floods as an example, because uh, they can be caused both by natural processes in the atmosphere and natural processes occurring on Earth's surface. So, you know, when some uh, natural hazards can fall, fall into more than one category. Hazard risk, uh, we're going to go on and look at, is the probability that people will be affected by a natural hazard. Probability is very important because we get high hazard risk, uh, where there's a high chance that people are going to be affected. Um, and same with low hazard risk, low chance people will be affected. We need to look at the factors affecting hazard risk. You don't need to remember all of them. Um, that would be a waste of time. Just remember two or three and then be prepared to explain them for two, three, four marks. Um, so elaborate why they affect hazard risk. Um, we have a look at a couple later in the video. I explain them. So, for example, population increase might force people into more hazard prone areas because there's only so much space on the Earth as it becomes more populated. Magnitude, you know, increases how dangerous they are, makes it more likely to affect people. Location, again, we really touched on this in the last slide, for example, the snowstorm in Antarctica um, versus in Edinburgh. Poverty is a good one to unpack, and I do so later. Um, time of day, think about where people are during the day or at night. Urbanization, thinking about people in cities, how they're densely populated and how that affects hazard risk. Agriculture, so for example, um, the area around volcanoes is very fertile, so agriculture can draw people nearer to hazards and increase hazard risk. Frequency is really obvious because the more natural hazards that happen, uh, the higher probability that people are going to be affected by them. And preparedness, the more prepared people are, the less likely they are to be affected by them as much. Um, so you can link that to poverty and we look at how wealth influences hazard risk um, later in the course as well. So an exam question, 
uh, which you can pause and have a go at. Now, there hasn't actually been any exam questions on this topic in any exam paper made so far. Um, so I've made one up. You're almost certainly going to get a photo somewhere in your exam paper. So use the photo, use the question, answer the questions, um, and I'll reveal the answers. Um, so suggest why the 2019 floods would be considered a natural hazard. Well, what is a natural hazard? It's a natural event that uh, has the potential to harm people, threatens people. So you can say it has the potential to harm people. That's why it's a natural hazard, because you can see in the photo uh, that there's people nearby. So therefore, it's going to be a natural hazard, not a natural event. Outline which type of hazards it is. Um, well, flooding, you could probably have geomorphological or atmospheric, as we covered on the previous slide. Geomorphological, because they occur on Earth's surface. Atmospheric, because they are a result of natural processes in the Earth's atmosphere, just basically using the definition to explain. And finally, we're told that Bang Bangladesh's population has increased rapidly over the last 50 years, and explaining why population growth has increased hazard risk. This is what I was just talking about, explaining why the factors affecting hazard risk affect hazard risk. Um, so for free marks, this one. Um, so population growth increases hazard risk because it forces people to live in areas where more natural events occur. And this means that, use this, which means that, this means that, because that's explaining your point. That means you're going to get another mark for explaining your point a step further, developing a step, a step further. This means that more people are vulnerable to the hazard, which means that, again, explaining it a second time, that there's a higher chance that more people will be affected um, by the hazard. A higher chance, that's very important when we're talking about hazard risk, because obviously hazard risk is a probability. It can be high, it can be low. Finally, revision. I've summarized all the key points for you here, which you can use for revision. Stick it on a flashcard. Um, I don't know, you've got natural hazard, and types of natural hazard, factors affecting the hazard risk. I've outlined two more factors affecting hazard risk, showing how you can explain them. Has to um, how hazards with larger magnitude increase hazard risk and how poverty increases hazard risk. Um, this is good, quite a good one for a four mark answer um, just because there's quite a bit to unpack. And finally, I've got a link for further reading um, if you want to. It's in the description and you can read that article and have a think about how climate change is increasing hazard risk. That's it for this specific topic. We're going to go on and look in more detail uh, to tectonic hazards, um, how they affect people, what what causes them. So subscribe uh, so that you don't miss that and recommend the channel to a friend that's doing GCSE Geography because it's going to help them. Yeah, but for now, thanks for watching.